the Subaru gods require a sacrifice. And this week, it's gonna be spark plugs, so grab your 5 8 inch socket for spark plugs, and let's have some fun. It's the classic EJ25 engine, single overhead cams. This is the driver's side, and this is the passenger side. The passenger side gonna be a little bit tougher, gonna need to remove some things. But first, let's start with the driver's side. Get that vacuum line out of the way, and the ignition coils just pull right out. Well, it might take a bit of finagling anyways. So, there they are, exposed. The spark plugs are in there, so all you're gonna be doing is building up by putting your socket in first and then chasing it with some extension sockets. Once you've built up the right length, use your ratcheting wrench and remove them. Well now, this probably explains the misfires. I was still having misfires despite the fact that I replaced the ignition coils, the ignition coil pack, cleaned the MAF sensor and even replaced the catalytic converter. But I'm confident this will be the last time we see this issue. So insert it in, build up your socket again, and this time you'll just hand thread it. Make sure you hand thread it, you don't cross thread it, it should go in easily into your engine block. Once it's tight, chase it a bit with your ratcheting wrench, not too much, between an eighth inch to a quarter inch turn. And then we're gonna switch gears, so remove the MAF sensor connector, undo the two clips on your air filter because we're gonna be removing the air intake. There's a hose clamp closer to this air box which is basically sitting atop your throttle body and then the whole air intake gets removed, air filter gets removed. There's still not enough space to work, so we're going to remove the housing for the air filter, and I believe those are just two 12 millimeter bolts on either side. And now we can replace the spark plugs here as well. Same procedure, but you don't have to remove the vacuum line here. There's enough space to remove the ignition coils. And here we have yet another spark plug, completely shot, no surprises. Now, we're gonna button it all up in reverse order. Order? And in very high speed. So what's going on here? I replaced the spark plugs maybe 20,000 miles ago when I pulled the engine to replace the head gasket, but they're gone. But it makes sense because if I had this misfire issue that destroyed my catalytic converter because of the ignition coil pack, that was literally the only problem. It makes sense that with a bad spark, you're gonna eventually just destroy your spark plugs. So I sincerely hope this is the last I will see of this problem. And don't forget to put your vacuum line back on your driver's side. And there's the gang. Half of them completely shot, half of them still usable. Hopefully this problem's gone for good. Let's test it out. I guess the horizontally opposed gods are pleased. Thank you for watching.